Okay, in this video, we're going to look at GPS receivers, like the one we see here. Now, this one's made by Garmin. It's one of their OEM receivers. And I've mounted it on a Vero board. And you can see I've done a lot of experimentation with this board. I've done a lot of, I've done a lot of projects. And it runs on 5 volts. There's your 5 volt input. And there's the main connector to the GPS. It's a 12-pin connector. And inside that connector is also a, a RS-232 port, which is fed over to this ribbon cable. Now you can plug this into your computer, into the serial port, and you can run a program like TerraTerm or Putty, and you can view the NEMA strings that are, that are sent out every one second that contain a lot long information. Now there's also a, an antenna for this GPS, it's external, so it looks like there, and a connector for the antenna is right here, it's a little MCX RF connector. Now most of you that are dealing with GPS's know that they output lat and long information, that's their main function. There's also another important feature of most GPS's, that's a one pulse per second output. Now this is a hardware output and it's on pin 3 on this, on this connector here. And it produces exactly a pulse every one second and it's very accurate. It's, it's linked to their atomic clock in the GPS. Okay, here's the output waveform of pin 3 in the Garmin GPS. Now this is your one pulse per second output. So between this leading edge here and this leading edge is exactly one second. Now this is very precise because it's synchronized to the GPS atomic clock and it's very little jitter, we're talking nanoseconds. So you could use this for synchronization if you think about it. If you had a buddy that lived 50 miles away and he had a GPS running on his bench and he was monitoring his one pulse per second output and you had your GPS running, when your GPS pulse, one pulse per second output went from 0 to 5 volts, his, his will do the same thing in this exact same time. So if you had two projects, you could synchronize them together, even though you're 50 miles apart. Okay, I have my scope hooked up to my GPS, and it's monitoring the one pulse per second output. And my GPS has three satellites. It's locked to three satellites right now. So if we look, if we look at the waveform, between this positive edge and this positive edge here is exactly one second. And that's synchronized to the atomic clock of the GPS, so it's very accurate and precise. Now, it may not look like much, but it's pretty incredible. And if I put my cursors on, you can see between this edge and this edge, we got exactly one second between the two cursors. So next, we'll look at some applications where we could use this precise and accurate timing pulse. Okay, here's an application that uses the one pulse per second feature of the GPS. And this is an actual project which I have seen. So what we see here is 10 radio transmitters. And they transmit on the same frequency. It's a 900 megahertz ISM band, so they're license free. And each one of the radio transmitters has a GPS. So what they're doing is sending temperature data to this master receiver down here. So if they would send randomly at different times, there would be a lot of collisions and a lot of errors. So what they did, they gave each radio a time slot. So the first radio will have time slot 0, and time slot 1, 2, 3, 4, all the way up to time slot 9. So we see down here each time slot would be 100 milliseconds. So with 10 radios and 100 milliseconds time slot, you get a 1 second time to run through all the radios. So each one of the radios has a GPS. So when the 1 pulse per second edge happens, right here, they all get synchronized to that edge. And when they see that edge, they all see it at the same time. Radio numbers, the time slot zero will transmit right away. It will transmit its, its temperature data right away. The second one will delay 100 milliseconds, then send its data. Then 200 milliseconds for the third radio, and then 300, 400, all the way up to the last radio, which will delay 900 milliseconds, and then send its data. Then it would get this pulse again, the one second pulse, and they all get synchronized back to slot number zero. And it will just rotate round and round until all of them send their data. So this way it's all synchronized and the data is clean. So if you have a project where you need to synchronize two locations that are, that are distance from each other, you could use GPS for your synchronization.